Hello everybody and welcome to English Speaking 360. Today we are showing you how to make future questions with be going to and gonna. It is super useful. Let's go. So, how to ask follow-up questions. Imagine that you are on Friday and you see one of your friends. So you ask, do you have any plans for the weekend? And your friend says, yes, I'm going to take pictures. What are you going to say next? Many of my students just say, oh. But that is not okay because there is a basic conversation rule that says you must ask two or three questions related to his or her plans for the weekend. So, Here's what you have to do. Instead of, oh, you have to say or you have to ask two or three questions. Now, how to ask these two or three questions? Use the given verb. The given verb is the verb that the person is giving to you. So, in this case, it is take pictures. And this verb goes at the end of the question. So that's your verb. To ask questions, you also need many question words. So I give them to you right here on the left side. These questions, question words will go at the beginning of your question. For example, you're going to say, where? Where take pictures? Where take pictures is okay because the person can understand you. But it's not very good. If you want to make a perfect question, you need this. Where are you going to take pictures? Okay, this is a good question. You could also ask, why? Why take pictures? But the better question is, why are you going to take pictures? You could also say, when? What comes next? You know it. Are you going to? And finally, take pictures. When are you going to take pictures? So you see, just by using the given verb, you can make three questions super easily with be going to. Okay? Now, something very important is right here. Okay, where are you going to take pictures? So, are you going to is actually the verb to be is are. Okay, plus going to, going to is a future plan. It shows that there is a plan. And here we are talking about weekend plans. So, that's why you must use be going to. You shouldn't use will. Where will you take pictures? It's not so good because it's a plan. So, where are you going to take pictures? But there is another way. You could also ask, where are you gonna take pictures? Gonna is the short form of going to. Where are you gonna take pictures? So, you see, there is a difference between where are you going to take pictures and where are you gonna take pictures? Because gonna is much easier to say, so it's much faster. Where are you gonna take pictures? Where are you gonna take pictures? Where are you going to take pictures? Uh, going to take pictures takes too long. So where are you gonna take pictures is what people usually say. Let's try again. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Yes, I'm going to go dancing. Now you have to ask two or three questions with the given verb, go dancing. As you know, it goes at the end and you put the question words at the beginning. What question word can you use? Where? Where is a good question. So. Where are you going to go dancing? When are you going to go dancing? 
Or you could also say, Who? Who are you going to go dancing? No, that doesn't work. You have to ask, Who are you going to go dancing with? When we use who, usually we use with also if it's something that you're doing together. I know you're not supposed to finish with a preposition at the end, but in this case, that's what people say. Also, don't forget that you can change be going to for another word, right? You know, you can change it for gonna. So, where are you gonna go dancing? Excellent. When are you gonna go dancing? And who are you gonna go dancing with? That's good. Now, you can see here, I put some X marks next to some question words that we cannot usually use in this case. What are you gonna go dancing? Doesn't work. Which are you gonna go dancing? Doesn't work either. Okay? Good. Now let's try another situation. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Yes, I'm going to make a YouTube video. Now let's go with two or three questions with make a video. Okay? So we have everything we need right here. What question can you ask? Why? Why are you going to make a video? Or you could ask, Why are you going to make a video? How? How are you going to make a video? How are you going to make a video? You can also use this one. What kind of video are you going to make? What kind of is also a very, very useful type of question. So remember this one. What kind of and then the main topic. What kind of video are you going to make? What kind of food are you going to cook? Okay. Let's try this one. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Yes, I'm going to go to the beach. Two or three questions. You ready? And now it's your turn. Ask two or three questions. Let's go. Did you have enough time? I hope so, and I hope you could ask two or three questions. So now let's go together. We'll see what we can do. So the given verb was go to the beach. So you could ask something like, something like, what? What are you going to go to the beach? Wait, is this okay? No, it doesn't make sense. Actually, what is a very special question word because most of the time, what requires something else right there before are you going to. So, what mm, are you going to go to? What do you think is the word that is missing? It is beach. What beach are you going to go to? And this is a perfect question. So we have this one. What beach are you going to go to? Or what beach are you going to go to? You could also say which. Which is similar to what. You also need something there. Which beach are you going to go to? Or which beach are you going to go to? You could say who. But watch out, because who is dangerous, you remember. What is the question? Who are you going to go to the beach with? Or, who are you going to go to the beach with? Let's go with this one. Do you have any plans for, fr for the weekend? Yes, I'm going to ride my bike. Now, once again, two or three questions, and it's your turn. Let's go. Good. 
Good. Let's see what we can, what questions we can make now. So once again, the verb is ride my bike. So in your question, you will have to change one thing. You will have to say ride your bike because it's not ride my bike, it's your bike. And then let's go with this, with the question word. We could say, where are you going to ride your bike? Or where are you going to ride your bike? You could also say, why? Why are you going to ride your bike? You could use how long. How long are you going to ride your bike? There are also other possibilities. For example, how far are you going to ride your bike? Or... How many kilometers are you going to ride your bike? Those are all good questions. On Friday, once again, any plans for the weekend? No, I'm going to work all weekend. So sad. Now ask two or three questions. It's your turn. And now I'm sorry, but you get no help. Let's go. Did you get it? Let's see what we can do now. How about where? Where are you going to work? Why? Why are you going to work? How long? How long are you going to work? Those are three excellent questions. You could also have how many but how many requires something after? So what do you think goes there? You could say, how many hours are you going to work? Those are all good questions, guys. You did a very good job. Any plans for the weekend? I'm going to watch YouTube videos all weekend. What videos are you going to watch? Of course, you're going to watch English Speaking 360 videos. Don't forget to like us and share and subscribe, of course. And we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.